Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Ride Between and Yarns LLC and we're gonna find Arthur. We're walking downstairs. This is the situation. Arthur is under the only real Christmas tree in the house. And Arthur destroyed the tree skirt. He didn't really destroy it, but he did move it away from the tree. And he lays on the tree skirt. He puts the tree skirt exactly how he wants it. And he hasn't went to the bathroom or anything like that on there. But he puts the tree skirt how he wants it. And he simply sits here. So he likes this flooring in the house better, which is like a slate tile. It's very cool because I believe it's on like concrete steps. But Arthur is in the house because as you can see, he did get a haircut recently. So he has very thin, but of course very soft, wool. So Arthur's been inside and having a buck like Arthur, a boy rabbit who has for years been not neutered and in fact the opposite he has um he has bred multiple female bunnies so having a rabbit like this in the house is quite different than having a neutered or a spade or a rabbit who has never um bred been bred with another rabbit in the house so even though Arthur is quite a clean rabbit, like most rabbits, some of the things that we want to show, some of the realities of having a rabbit in after shearing are as follows. The evidence. So these little droppings right here and the upturned food dish in the corner so this is the big litter box full of hay that we have inside and we have the wire pen that is inside when Arthur is in here. This just gets uh, expanded out and closed. He's by the front doors. These are very cool because it is, this is a view from the front doors. It's um, December right now. No snow, but it's December and it's quite cool out, which is why he's in the house because he has a haircut. So he has his litter pan here. He has his water bottle right there. He, there's a bucket of pellets for him. But all I do for Arthur is I leave just this little section. I open it up during the day and he can hop around and he can hop out and he can do really much of whatever he wants during the day. But, you know, even though Arthur has his litter box and he is litter box trained for the most part he isn't a hundred percent trained because um he's a he's an unneutered so he's a fully intact buck who's been used for breeding so arthur what does that mean that means arthur will use our rabbits will use multiple different ways of marking their territory and especially bucks such as arthur who has bred other rabbits and he's used to being free he's used to being um being able to have his space and he's the king of his domain. So that means um, he marks with pellets and pellets are quite easy to clean up in the house, but he also marks with uh, urine. And luckily in the house, Arthur does not mark with urine in the house. He always uh, urinates in his litter box, but when Arthur gets out and about, ever so often, you may find a little pellet, a little dropping from Arthur. And usually it's in spaces where we've had, um, where I've been spinning, for example, he will leave a pellet where my spinning wheel is because I spin all sorts of other animals, all sorts, so other rabbits, for example, and sometimes sheep. And so the smell of those other animals is around Arthur. And so he's a buck, he's an intact buck, he's been used for breeding, and he will 
you know, he will mark that. So you can see he's literally marking my boots right now too. He's chinning the boots. And chinning is saying, this is mine. And he's saying, you know, this is, this is Arthur's. So those are some of the ways that rabbits identify their little territory. And so house training a rabbit like Arthur isn't exactly easy. And so Arthur is, it would be easier if Arthur was neutered. And so being able to keep Arthur in the house long term would really require for us neutering Arthur. Because one of the last things that you want when you have a rabbit in the house is to constantly have to be picking up rabbit droppings. And the truth is with, with a rabbit who is as old as Arthur is, and he's been free to deposit pellets wherever he wants, the truth is that for most of Arthur's life, he's the rest of Arthur's life, even if he was neutered, the chances of being even 75% of his droppings uh, not marking would be, um, it would be quite optimistic, honestly. So there would always be, you know, for Arthur, there would always be pellets here and there in the house and we can improve it. We can make it better. And of course there's ways to do that, but often I don't see a lot of videos or a lot of, um, information on YouTube about differences between house training or living with a house rabbit who has been a breeder, who has been intact, and the differences of trying to have a house rabbit when that is the rabbit that you are attempting to bring in your house. I don't see a lot of honest information about that. And so I wanted to create this video and sh share a little bit of time with showing you Arthur in the house and explaining what it's like to really have Arthur in the house. So sometimes Arthur will chase after me and follow me around, but it's during the day. And so he's, right now is the time of the day when rabbits rest and they're most active in the morning, they're most active in the evening. So right now is the time when it's during the middle of the day, it's around lunchtime. This is time for Arthur to really relax. He's not doing too much. Um, he was more active probably two hours ago. He was hopping around a lot more and now he just lays down and he really just sleeps and rests and relaxes most of the day. But when it comes to nighttime, what's going to happen is he's going to become, he's going to be out and about more. So Arthur's droppings, the amount of droppings that he produces at nighttime when he's very active, that in, that increases as well, which is another point to bring up, is that Arthur and rabbits like Arthur, if you keep the rabbit, um, if you have the rabbit out when they are most active, the chances of having more droppings where you don't want them, more droppings in your house, for example, that increases because Arthur is, you know, his body is more active, he is more active, he's hopping around, and just like humans, when the body is more active, um, there's a lot of things digestively that kind of kick it into gear, so that's what happens with Arthur too. So if you really wanted to, you could keep your rabbit out when they weren't as, when they weren't as active and allow them to have some time free roaming and hopping around and really just at a more relaxed pace and relaxed schedule, allowing your rabbit to be out of a pen and hopping about. And you will limit the amount of droppings that you have out. And so that, that helps in that respect, but it doesn't help in getting your rabbit a lot of exercise because then you're, you don't have your rabbit out when they are, um, when they are most active. So for the exercise portion, it's not, that's not the best. But for the droppings portion and keeping your house clean, it's kind of like meeting in the middle where, okay, the rabbit does get out, the rabbit does get free time, but, um, you know, kind of like you both compromise for that. You get a bit of a, you get a bit less work, less droppings to clean up and, um, your bunny gets some 
time out of the pen as well. Arthur really likes head scratches. But Arthur does prefer, he's shedding quite a bit too, but um, Arthur does prefer the slate right here to stand on. The rest of the floor is either wood flooring or carpeting. And for Arthur, this type of wood flooring is very smooth. He doesn't like this on his paws. This is way, way, way too slippery for him. This is, this is, he does not like this at all. And then you have uh, this wood flooring, which is actually quite old wood flooring. And this wood flooring is also a bit slippery for Arthur. So he doesn't necessarily prefer this as well because he can't get his, his paws are, you know, they've got fur on the bottom. He can't really get a good grip. So what he does is he likes hopping up these stairs and going completely up to the top on the carpeting. So that's just a little bit about Arthur in the house and we hope to see you guys in our next video.